morning and welcome back to Scott's Big Mouth Podcast. A little bite-sized one for you today, but a very important one. Um, thank you to everybody that's downloading on all of the podcast outlets. It is appreciated. It's doing very well. Um, thank you to everybody that watches on the YouTube channel as well. It's doing very well. For people that don't know, the Big Mouth Podcast, slightly different to the usual beer, food and sort of normal stuff, where I get in get my teeth into slightly um, more important stuff um you and this is something that's very um it's very topical but it's also um i think something that is completely untouched and it's something that needs to be addressed and sorted out very quickly you would have all seen recently in the press and across the whole of the news uh, networks in england ireland scotland Wales, and the uk the post office and horizon scandal uh, whereby postmasters have been jailed, they've been um, they've been prosecuted. Um, it's been called the biggest um, miscarriage of justice in the UK, UK legal history. Um, Alan Bates and fellow postmaster uh, postmasters have just been absolutely terrorised um, by the postal uh, by the royal the, po the post office and the post office ministers all to do with the horizon system uh, they've been watching these watching these people break down physically mentally torturing people uh, for money they say they owed when they never did and i think anybody that can't be hasn't been touched um by some of these stories there was a woman on um, good morning britain uh, on monday morning that you could see was absolutely mentally broken by all this and my heart goes out to all of these people um it looks like finally the government has acted on this and these people are going to be exonerated um i took a quote that i actually liked this morning uh, because they're all about compensation and the woman that was being interviewed the morning said this morning said money doesn't come with an erase button and i think that's absolutely fantastic it's true how do you compensate and it should be compensation these the compensation it shouldn't be what it's called this should be about giving people their lives back how do you give people lives back that have been through this um stephen bradshaw has been described as one of the worst investigators in history um the horizon software which they knew was faulty when it was installed into the post offices um is, and obviously this has only been really brought to the public attention by the mr bates versus the post office drama i haven't actually seen this yet wonder what i want to watch it wonders a bit reticent because apparently it's very sad i've watched the actual um people that have been interviewed and it's absolutely scandalous and apparently the investigators that were doing this they were they were being bo given bonuses for actually pro uh, getting people prosecuted um it's an unbelievable scandal. Um, but I believe, as do a lot of people, that there's actually a bigger scandal currently in the UK. And it's a it's a scandal that the mainstream media, Sky, BBC, ITV, Channel 4, they won't touch. They won't touch this subject. And it's the top subject and the scandal of the CMS the child maintenance service, which is, uh, uh, for me, and I know a lot of people will agree with this, and this isn't diminishing the scandal that the post office and the postmasters have been through, because I am absolutely delighted that these people are finally being heard. Um, but I believe the CMS scandal is a bigger scandal than the post office scandal, because it affects thousands, thousands and thousands of people people are being they're having their homes repossessed they're being persecuted they're being bullied they're being harassed and ultimately this service is killing people a thousand people a year are ultimately losing their lives men and women because there are women basically the non-resident paying parent is harassed they use the same system the or they did use the same system the horizon system i'm not putting the blame on the horizon system because the way the cms um has conducted itself is appalling and it's still going on um and yet nobody within the mainstream media will speak about this subject the only um news outlet that is dead touch this recently is gb news i've got no affiliation to gb news i'm very central uh politically i see 
both sides of the fence. But the fact that the GB News have actually touched this, uh, fair play to Richard Tice, who's the leader of Reform, um, Noel Wilcox, uh, for getting this the, these um, uh, this really important subject of people that are being harassed for money in arrears they do not owe. Don't owe it. Um, and they're being threatened with jail. They're being threatened with losing their house. And it's got to stop. And it really needs to be brought to the public attention. Um, GB News are, they were due to air something last week. They're still going through legals. Um, but there's another voice, actually, that's come out in the last couple of days. And it's Anne Widdicombe. And she's wrote, she's written an article in the, I think it's in the Express. I got sent it. And I'm going to read it to you. Because I think it's really important. And it's cool. This is the, the article. I'm hoping you can see that. Um, CMS scandal needs a dramatic intervention. And it says... The obvious lesson to learn from the excellent Mr. Bates versus the post office is the sheer power of the media. This disgraceful situation has been going on for years and has been getting coverage from time to time. Had been before the courts and still both the post office and the ministers, including the now leader of the Lib Liberal Democrats, also Keir Starmer, who was the director of public prosecutions at the time, and just ignored it, dragged their heels and got away with it, even while the desperate souls took their own lives. Now suddenly, the Prime Minister himself gets involved, and the falsely accused sub-postmasters are at last being offered the justice to which they were entitled many years ago. The problem began in 1999. And the only thing which has galvanised the powers that be into action is a television series. This is Anne, Anne Widdicombe's uh, article. Well, let me make a suggestion to the programme makers. There is another, even larger group of Brits who are being persecuted, not by faceless computers, but by government officials and are also taking their own lives. Like the falsely accused postmasters, they too have been reduced to destitution and unpayable demands and face imprisonment. I've written about them on this page several times. The victims of the child maintenance service who are being pursued for sums of money they simply do not owe and could never have owed. The National Audit Office itself admitted before a select committee that the CMS collects money that is not owed. Similarly, Noel Shanahan, as head of the CMS, admitted to the Parliament, uh, admitted to Parliament that the service deliberately inflated demands. Yet, the law itself, in contravention surely of the principles of natural justice and Magna Carta, states that once a liability order has been issued, it cannot be challenged before a court of law. The results nervous breakdowns, seizure from bank accounts, imprisonment of the innocent, people forced to leave the armed forces because the idiots at the CMS cannot understand that temporary allowances are not permanent pay and suicides. Alan Campbell MP has called for a public inquiry and never and never was one more needed, but as he is also the Labour chief whip, he cannot campaign for it. Is there no MP who will take up this cause with the vigour that my erstwhile colleague, the wonderful James Arb Arbonot, took up the court case of the postmasters. The Thank you, Anne Widdicombe, for actually bringing some of this to the, the masses, because it's a, unless you're in this situation, it's something you don't ever even think about and there are hundreds of thousands of dads non-resident paying parents predominantly dads deadbeat dads is what people they accuse these guys of and it they're being persecuted and Whittacombe in that uh, mentions the need for a um a public inquiry there is a petition currently on the the government petitions that you, it needs 10,000 signatures to even be looked at by the government. It currently sits at 300, uh, sorry, 3,879. 
in the description box of this video will be the link to that petition. I beg you to sign that petition because, and anybody, even if you're not involved in this, there are, got, there are people out there, thousand deaths a year attributable to the child maintenance service for bullying and harassment and nothing gets done. The media won't touch it. What it needs is somebody like the filmmaker of um, Mr. Bates versus the post office to take this on to get it to a national scale because it is an absolute scandal. On that very note, this Sunday, I'm speaking to Ian Briggs on Scott's Big Mouth, uh, the father of Gavin Briggs. Down in the description below will be justice for Gavin Briggs. Go and read Gavin Briggs' story. Um, Ian will come on um, and he will tell you what happened to Gavin, his son, who took his life because of the child maintenance service and the absolute outrage of how they've treated him. Um, well, I don't know if it's going to be out Sunday because obviously I've got to speak to Ian and then get it all sorted out and uploaded. But if it's not out Sunday, it'll be out Monday. I beg you to, to, to listen to his story because there are thousands of stories very similar to, to Ian's and it's got to stop. It's got to stop. Please go sign the the petition for a public inquiry. It's desperately needed. Um, this has to stop and it needs to get to a national scale. Um, I'm not going to touch on too much longer. Thank you ever so much for watching. This subject is very passionate to my heart. Um, and I hope that you don't mind me taking up some of your time um, to try and get this subject out there. Um, please sign the petition. Um, look out for Ian Briggs coming over Sunday or Monday once I get it up. Um, and look after each other. If you've got kids, give them a kiss, give them a hug and tell them that you love them. And I'll see you very soon.